Doug? Is that you? What? Hey? I thought I heard. It sounded like a pig. Must be the heat. And now, Froggy, be reasonable. Come on down, you little baboon. You want to eat me? There's a law of nature, by thunder. The strong always eat the weak. Come on down, lad. Make an effort. Cannibal! Come, Piggy Wiggy. I'm not Piggy, I'm the frog. Cannibalism is a mortal sin. It will bring you bad luck. You shall run in hellfire. What about confession? What you think confession's for? Devil take you, frog. Have I not told you to trust me? Have I not proved right again? Aye, aye, Captain. Well, you're not to forget it, you little rascal. Never lose faith in divine providence. Never! Uh, 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 uh. Watch out, lad! Shark! Shark! There's good sport going by, Thunder. Twas indeed. You can have me balls for breakfast if it wasn't. What do you say? What do we say, Captain? And we're both agreeing?
Ahoy! Ahoy now! Damn me, buttons. There's a thin slice of luck. See your colors. Spaniard. Quick! Quick, the documents for heaven's sake! Gold will be your ruin, Captain. It will cost us our heads. Easier to live without a head than without gold, you numbskull. I fight for hatred of the Spaniards. I fight for glory, not gold. A man fights for what he lacks the most. Shiver me soul. What, Captain Red? What, Captain Red? What, Captain Red? Only poker. Can't you see those sons of oars ain't a change in course? She'll run straight past us, all sails set, with the wind up her tail! Hi, Captain. She's holding course. Ghost or no ghost, we need a rescue and buy thunder. Ahoy! Ahoy there! Ahoy on deck!
Five and twenty years of unstinting toil. All my savings. Benjamin Parr of London. Understand? I understand, Captain. Cotton shipper for Matthew Spencer and Company. Right. Right. Attacked at night by pirates aboard the, uh, the Morning Star. Sunk with all hands, with the sole survivors. Repeat. Benjamin Parr of London. Cotton shipper of tobacco or vanilla would be better. <laughs> And who might you be, sir? Joseph Serafin Amadeus Bumako. Bumako? Bumako. Uh, ship's cook. And what the devil are you doing down here? I am in irons, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that, pray? Spaniards loco. They say Bumako poisoned great Captain Linares to steal throne. Throne? What throne? Throne of Capatec and Ohuac. Capatec? And I walk. Ah, Captain. Here. Who? A frown. Ah, yeah. You've seen it? Ah, by little hole. Where, for God's sake? Here. Put your eye here, and you see. If I may make so bold, they would look remarkably well hanging from the yardarm. Yet you just informed me that they were victims of a shipwreck. A pair of dogs, Your Honor. An Englishman and a Frenchman. Lieutenant, I would remind you once and for all that the war is over. On paper, perhaps. When a treaty bears this sign manual of our most Catholic majesty, personal sentiments must take second place to national obligations. Doctor? Your Honor's Vinegar Perch. Another? It's the fourth today. I assure you, Doctor, I have naught left inside me to be purged off. And Spain's present obligations are clearly defined by the Treaty of the Pyrenees. It will get cold, Your Honor. Which treaty expresses the will and desire of our noble King Philip IV? Oh! A treaty signed by His Excellency Cardinal Mazarin to the greater glory of our country and the honor of our Holy Mother. Oh, the church. Tut, tut. We haven't eaten our oatmeal. Quite possibly. In that case, we need look no further. Should your honor have no movement of the bowels?
How then? You were shipwrecked, I am told. We were indeed, Your Honor, sir, till divine providence saw fit, Dio Gratius, to put us in the way of this here vessel belonging to the good king of Spain. I see. This shipwreck, how did it come about? Pirates, devil take them. Who were these pirates? For too dark to see, sir. I did hear him shout a name, Mo. Wait, I think. Ah, I heard Temperate. What shall we do with him? Kill them all, says he. There's naught but Becky and Manila aboard this oak. That was our cargo on the morning star, sir. Tobacco and vanilla. You heard, Captain Brett, are you sure? Sure as I have a timber leg, sir. The villain has been dead these past four years. Garcia Gomez put an end to him at Boca del Toro. This dog must have been dreaming. Well, ain't no dream, Your Honor. It's all I possess went down in that there skirmish. Only Ben I was. After 18 years, Working me fingers to the bone on a little vanilla plantation. Life's always dealt me harsh. Take this cursed leg of mine. Crushed by a barrel of vanilla at the tender age of three and twenty. And that scar? Eh? On your head. Was that a barrel of vanilla too? Not at all, sir. Not at all. That I had from the irons they used to pluck me from me poor late mother's womb. I hope your honor gave no such trouble to his own mother. Some respect, dog! Away with him. Make you sing a song or two, and you wouldn't need your guitar, believe me. Not as I've had the pleasure of being Tow the Carpenter. Master Carpenter. And a fine trade it is by the powers. Many's the time I've regretted not learning it myself. Still, too late now, and there's an end on it. I perceive your kindly features at once, Master Carpenter, and was wondering whether perhaps you might wish to devote a little of your precious time to me timber late. What's amiss with it? Cut off, shorten its prime, you might say. I drift to stop at every step I take. <laughs> uh, these are some precious family heirlooms, what I've always refused to be parted from, even in times of direst adversity. Like this one here. Twit a gift from me favorite all. And the other? Uh, that one... Me father gave that to me poor old mother. God rest her. <laughs> I 
Thank you, gentlemen. I think we've settled matters insofar as we're able. Go take some rest and leave me to prepare for my own, which I warrant this time will be a lasting one. Long live the king. Long live Spain. Long live the king. Long, Long live, live Spain. Spain. I have done all I could, Your Honor. I know, my good Juanito, I know. Alas, there are times when all is not enough. Farewell, Doctor. My son, unburden your soul to Almighty God. Confess your sins and repent of them in all humility that they may be forgiven you. <sighs> my sins. How they haunt me. We both know, my son, how Satan can profit from a sailor's isolation, inciting him to shameful solitary practices. I am an old man, Padre. Very well, then. There remain greed, anger, pride, mendacity, sloth. Let us wrestle with them one by one. For some time now, I've been plagued by certain weighty questions which hardly pertain to mendacity or sloth. What manner of questions? Throughout my life, I've fought for my king, my country, and Holy Mother Church. And God shall reward you for it. I have killed in their name. A soldier's duty. I, it is a sorry duty to kill men, women, and children for the sake of a nation's gold. Well, these are savages. Cannibals, some of them. They do not even know the value of gold. Value of gold? Cut a take on a walk. Is a god, an eagle, the sun or the moon? The throne carries a curse if it is removed from its rightful place. The other night I dreamt it was red with blood. If we were wise, we would hurl it overboard. <laughs> and Neptune might sit on it without fear or remorse. But we, poor mortals, and my ship, what would become of my men? Why was I born a Spaniard and not an Aztec? My Padre, are there never answers to the questions that truly matter? Why? Get 
In line, I say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I drink to the new master after God of His Majesty's good ship Neptune. Gentlemen, Don Alfonso Felipe Salamanca de la Torre. Don Alfonso. Don Alfonso. Your Honor, look at me on board. A what? The men found a rat in the soup. Cast away with the wooden ledges, tearing them up. Commander, turn off the guard. We must fight for the betterment of our conditions. We must claim our rights. All your rights. I said all your rights. No exception. We can beat them. If we stand together. Right. Unity is right. Right. And the soldiers. Why about the soldiers? They are our brothers. We would talk to them. Yes, they are sons of the people like us. The officers have bled us dry. Jesus said, "'Tis easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for an officer to enter the kingdom of heaven." The armory lad to the armory. be somewhere close by here. Ah, Corporal, we've come to mend the leak. Leak? Uh, Bowson's ordered us to help the cop to uh, his mates is down with the squitters. Must find this leak. Just said to be close by the armory. Ah. 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 Maybe he's got the keys. Look, he's got them. Out of the gun port with him. Seems to be amiss. Come now, speak your minds. There's not to be afraid of. This is no galley ship. Well, Go on, tell him what happened. That, that, they're feeding us rats. Rats? A rat. 
We want to relieve ourselves in We're peace. We're sick of the war. We want justice. We want our yeah. right. We want our right. We want our right. Yeah. Easy, men, easy. Don't all speak at once. We shall settle this matter amicably. You. 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 And you two over there. The cripple and his crony. Over here, all five of you. The rest of you, back to your posts. On the count of three, I shall consider you mutineers and give the command to fire. One. Two. Three. Gentlemen, it seems we have just been spared a mutiny occasioned by this little rodent which fell into the soup. And what, pray, does our learned physician make of this? Tis boiled. Ah. My late grandfather partook of several during the siege of Cartagena and never suffered any ill effects. You heard that? Aye, sir, we did. Never suffered any ill effects. That is uncommon good news, you'll allow. Aye, uncommon good, but... But... Come, would you represent our surgeon's grandfather to be a liar? Aye, sir. Or as soon slit me through. Then kindly be seated. You are our guests. Enjoy your meal, gentlemen. Could it be that you do not fancy Spanish rats? Why, but we do, sir. We think go dust of them. Alas, we have but the one. I pray you, sir, one will more than suffice. You are too kind. Some seasoning for our gourmets. I fear we have no vanilla. not prefer the head. Nay, nay, lad. I wouldn't rob you of it.
for the last morsel, if you please. For the love of heaven! Don Alfonso, you have demonstrated your dominion over these wretches. We have all understood. Enough now. Stop this cruel jest, I implore you. Stop it at once! Your desire is our command. Get it off! That's it, Ben. Whip for him, the rope for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. You might as well pray to a boast, Chris. Aye, aye. Pray for us. No blasphemy, mate. Not at this hour, the watch. I do not want to die like a dog. Of a wife and babes. I'm still young. <laughs> but young. Jesus, in my infinite mercy. <laughs> they don't have the spunk of a weevil, do they? We must get ourselves out of this alone. Just you, Froggy, and myself. I am with you, Captain. You're a bully cock. I can see that in two shakes. I'm with you, too. And me. And me. What's to be done? Number one, stop gabbing. Number two, do as you're told. Frog, where's the dagger? In my sash, sir. Take it to Marco. Cut our ropes, Cook, but have a care. Just beside the knot, and mind you, leave a strand or two. Having made their peace with Almighty God, through the offices of Padre Don Antonio Fuentes, these four mutineers are sentenced to be hanged by the neck until they are dead. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. You shall be avenged! Do you want the rope as well? Do you want it? Why? My son, unburden your soul to Almighty God. At this supreme moment, my son, you must confess your sins that they may be forgiven you. Matter of fact, Padre, I'd be glad to have the benefit of your theological advice just in case of accidents. You never know. Resign yourself, my son. In a few brief moments, you'll be meeting your maker. Well, meantimes... Er... Uh, I should tell you that I had a mind to eat the frog. And I'm afraid bad luck may come of it. God created animals to be eaten by man. So why not a frog? Come, my son, what else besides? Begging your pardon, Reverend. But that's the frog standing alongside. Twas him I had a notion to eat. Now that is a serious matter.
Take
at your age. Have you no shame? <coughs> Hands off the prisoners. Easy. Easy now, hombre. If there's enough for one, there's enough for two. Here's your shawl, mademoiselle. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 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 I beg you to pardon the whole, mamsel. Providence has seen fit to deliver this here vessel from the tyranny of your degenerate Hidalgo masters. I do hereby take possession of her in the name of the Brethren of the Coast and shall henceforth command her. I am Captain Thomas Bartholomew Red. Long live Captain Red! What a fuss. Aye, it is Captain Red himself. Flesh and blood. So don't stand there gaping. Sooner go fetch us a good bottle of Hollands. You can see the captain's got the thirst on him. Well, you old shark. Got me 632 doubloons marked out of that vampire's account book of your own. Strange you should ask, Captain. I was just casting an eye over your account, and indeed you're right. I, it is exactly the figure. 
<laughs> Though the whole 632 might be difficult to raise at the moment, <laughs> prices have gone up since you've been away. But with a sacrifice, I might be able to manage, say, a uh, oh, hundred down and the balance over, let me see, uh, three months, will that be acceptable? Bloodsucker. Hmm? You're trembling. Is it fever or fear? Neither one. I'm all a tremble with pleasure at seeing you restored to life, my dear Captain. Your best affidavit of that would be me 632 doubloons. See the course I lay? My great heavens, what's this, Captain? You're short of a leg. Oh, an active man like yourself. What a tragedy. You lay that, me doubloons. <laughs> Hendrix! Would it be so kind as to bring me over my casket that I may count out 622 doubloons? 632. Now we can talk business. For oh, business. You know... You don't reckon I'd come back empty-handed, do you? Got me a galleon. Gold? Oh, no gold, not at all. Ostriches. Not again. I've had a skinful of them. They're swarming like maggots all over the island. I swear I'll never touch another hostage. You keep it. There. Six hundred and thirty-two. Go fetch a frog. Is that one back as well? Tell him to bring the ostriches. No, 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 thank you. Not here. Move or you lose your ears! Hockey the vestige. What? I've got the niece of the Governor of Maracaibo. And the first lieutenant of the Neptune. First or third, who cares? For over two years now, I've been trying to round some of the best-known lawyer in Spain. Nobody wants him back. Not his wife, not his children, not the bar at Seville. Nobody. Not him for free. Mind you, those halfwits did cut his tongue out. Well, of course, a lawyer without a tongue. No, Red, no, I mean it. What with the travelling expenses, the go-betweens, the overheads? A hostage isn't worth his keep these days. Neptune? Neptune. Let's see now, she was bound for Spain, was she not? Aye. And you say there's no gold aboard? Come in! Come in, me beauties! Then I'll make present you to Dutch. No, 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 I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Look, here she is. Niece to the governor of Maracaibo. He'll cough up 3,000 at least, slick as a whistle. What's your name, sweetheart? 3,000? Insolent scoundrel! If you knew your business, you'd know I'm worth ten times as much. <laughs> Take him away. Get him out of here. Drown them if you mind to. I want nothing to do with them. Holy poker! You son of a double-eyed whore from the reeking gutters of Rotterdam! A plague on your scurvy end! What's wrong with the hostages? They're hostages. That's enough. And what's this here, then? All samples? Right. So how much for him? A hundred? Not even. Last July, Carlos the Portuguese negotiated an archbishop for only 325. So a padre, well, you can imagine. Might as well dump him in Shark's Cove. He's not worth the price of his sandals. I'll bring a bit later. Out of your juice, Buncher. You're giving a party. I me all eats tis I. I've lost a drumstick, true. But the rest's all Captain Red. I'm off seas over with joy at seeing your friendly physiognomies again. Diddler! 
Still alive and kicking, you old skunk, you! <laughs> Where's me duck? Ah, there you be. Sour-faced as ever. Bible back. Not grown much straighter, have you? So, Moonhead. Took me for Satan herself out there, did ya? <laughs> Soiled your linen, did ya? <laughs> Strike me blind. You've as much to say as a shoal of mackerel. Look at me. Four years and more on a poxy desert island, yet I can still crack a smile. What ails you all? And your tongues pruned like that Dago lawyer? Oh. <laughs> That's gotta be all these. Let's make the rafters ring. We'll drain the Dutchman's cellar. Drinks are on the house. Life's a bed of roses. Buttons. They were worse than Spanish broadside. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you were killed at Buckle de Toro. Saints blood, that's what I thought myself. <laughs> so did the Spaniards likewise, else we'd not be here now. Sean forget Boco del Toro for quite a while. Never did more killing in all my life, did I, Frog? Never, Captain. Ah, you should have seen old Froggy here screaming, Viva La France! Viva La France! And lying about him like a demon! <laughs> that was your day, son, was it not? Well, twere not mine. Damnation cannonball tore me leg to shred. Oh. Hey, Scratch! That rum, do we get it today or tomorrow? Uh, directly, Captain. Directly. Moonhead, surprise. Fetch up another keg. Hold oh, it, Captain Red. Hold oh, it, Captain Red! There was a two wretch. All that remained of the Black Princess, a few spars and such like, broke up on the reefs of that accursed island. Four and a half years of scrimping on turtle meat and coconuts. Ugh. Aye, right, purgatory it was. Not like the good ship Neptune, where these generous Spanish officers received us like princes. Oh. <laughs> come, come, join our little party. Now's your chance. You've earned it. Shift your ulcers, make room for the gentle folk. Free our guest flippers that they may drink me elf. Having been so handsomely received at your table, sir, I hope I may prevail upon you to accept me hospitality. An officer of the Royal Fleet does not drink with pirates. Takes all kinds to make a world, does it not, Padre? It, it does indeed, my son. It does indeed. As we hear from Dutch, an expert in these matters, you're not worth a bag of nails. So pirate that I am, I find myself obliged to have you hang from the yard arm of your beloved Neptune. You'll be dancing a jig on air come daybreak. What say you to that? Death means less to me than dishonor. Had you the courage, you would confront me sword in hand. You will not deign to drink with us, yet you would taste our steel. Well, I have it in mind to play a little game we never tire of, me mates and I, which I myself call Dead Man's Nag. Yeah! <laughs> hey, he'll make a handsome man. Oh, he, oh, he. <laughs> And you, legs of a thoroughbred. <laughs> to the death, gentlemen. And if any rider's feet touch the ground before he's skewered, I'll have you in. Prompt, riders and nags alike. <laughs> Do not be distressed, mademoiselle. It is only a sport. Yeah, that's better. I like 
Batman. The winner's life shall be spared. Captain Red gives his word on it. Tell me, I was just wondering, the throne of Capitec Anawak. Who? Capitec Anawak. Never read of him. Well, I gather. I thought the Neptune... I heard a rumour that... What rumour? <coughs> Nothing. Just idle gossip. You know it happened. You've been blabbing about me for only a dog. Not, not a word, Captain. Not a word. Mum, as a club. I swear! Might you be, sir? I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. You must be that lawyer the Dutchman spoke of. Is it you, sir, whose tongue these dogs have cut out? Heaven be praised. Can you assist us? Or do you have a plan? What does he mean? He appears to be thirsty. Thirsty? Ridiculous. What is that to us? He wants some rum. In the name of His Majesty, I command you to collect your wits and help us. We need arms. Give him some rum. Three more barrels over my dead body. You tell him that. I'd rather you tell him yourself. taken aboard the Neptune. May God help you. Good 
great fortune. All our hopes go with you, my son. Quite so, quite so. Give us a blessing. If we were to keep one of these three barrels, would there not be two left? What do you say? Keep it how? Roll it over the side. It would sink. Nay, <laughs> it'll float. We can moor it to the anchor and pick it up later. No! Huh? No, later! Long live the king! And thanks be to God, who in his inn wisdom has put an end to this miserable mutiny. The buccaneer is dead. So is his crony. Here's a man of metal. One who put loyalty before treason. He suffered terribly in the fray, poor soul. But his valor shall not go unrewarded. How say you, Gonzales? Long live the king! Long, Long live the king! Live. commanded me not to take my eyes off you. You're very obedient. I do my duty. Is he perhaps frightened that I shall grow wings and fly away? Perhaps. And you, sir? I, Mamsel. Why did you... did you come to my rescue? Why did you kill one of your comrades for my sake? Sonny! Come over here, boy! Yes! Oh! Or take her into the bushes! <laughs> <laughs> ah, a very good morning to you, Master Carpenter. I was just wondering if you had any further need of me ring. Since I've been parted from it, tis as though I were missing the thing. Aye, here it is. Ah. As good as new. <laughs> <sighs> To arms! To arms! <laughs> On your feet, swine! 
with us? Rest easy, my pigeon. I saw you born and I shall see you married. Your safety is precious to these cutthroats. Yet, they're not all wicked men. That Frenchman, for instance. Mm -hmm. He seems different. Anaconda Bay. That's where we'll hide. Password? Tis I, Maria Dolores de Regina del Alcalde. Senorita. This padre and his brave companions have delivered me from the pirate's clutches. Conduct me to my uncle. At once, Senorita. I will call the officer of the watch. My son. Communication of paramount importance to impart to His Excellency. Kindly convey us thither with the utmost discretion. No one else may know of me presence here. So, batten down your hatches. Did you hear what the Padre said? Directly, Senorita. Your uncle will rejoice to see you safe and sound. We have all been praying for you, Senorita.
Permit me to rouse my poor uncle. You'll see me die of apoplexy. Uh, uh. Oh, forgive me, Lord. <laughs> San Antonio delivered me from all these demons. Tis Dolores, your niece. Eh? <laughs> Are we all dead? Uh, where am I, father? What's your father, idiot? I'm Captain Red. Yeah. Ah. Thomas Bartholomew, you rat. Yourself. We're pressed for time. Now bend your ear to this. I got your niece here, and I'll trade her for the throne of Capitec Anawak. What insolence? That throne belongs to the Spanish crown. No longer, you whale. I want it. At once. Never. Do you understand? <laughs> Never. Go on, Sonny. Where, Captain? Rape! What are you waiting for? I, I, I can't. Tis an order! I know, Captain. But, yet, yeah, no. Insubordination! Mark on me, lad. Stand in for this traitor. Captain. No! Save me, sir. For pity's sake, listen to your heart. Surely my virtue is worth a throne. You agree, Ben? Never. You shall see the stuff a Spanish governor is made of. Oh. Oh. Monster! At least have the grace to kill me before you dishonor me. Captain, come to see. He doesn't care to coppers for his niece. Let's have his eye out. No! Aye, no. there's a pretty notion. Oh. I'd take a peek at his brain. Spare him! I beg you, I'll give you my jewels, all my jewels. Have pity on him, I implore you, for the sake of the mother that bore you in her womb. Oh, my God! My God, get off quick, you're killing me! Oh. Oh. Help! Help! Stop! The throne? The throne? Give him his throne. Uh, go and fetch it, Captain. Go, but don't touch my foot again. By the Holy Eternal, don't touch my foot. Out of your crib. Oh, good. Now, be a good man. And do as you're told. Else, take your pen. Yeah. Set this down. <laughs> I, Archibaldo. Uh, what's your name? Archie. Baldo, Archibaldo. Esteban. I, Archibaldo. It says, and the rest of it. A governor of Maracaibo. Knight of the Holy Sepulchre. Stove at. Right, Maracaibo, to hereby discharge First Lieutenant Don Alfonso de la Torre of all responsibility for me frown. No, no, no. Uh, for the conveyance of the frown of Capitec Enoek to Spain. <laughs> Enter. Ah. Your Excellency. My respect, Senora. Lieutenant, we are in a grave predicament. The pirates 
attack a dog. Let them come. We shall be ready for them. Calm yourself. This resourceful Blackamoor contrived to escape from their lair. He knows their plans. Well, speak up, my good man. It is I, Lieutenant. This Pumaco. What? That black dog here? That renegade? Settle his score here and now. Governor! Governor! Protect me! You shall die, mutineer. I grant him pardon. But, Excellency, his rightful place is on the scaffold. Garroted with the rest of them. Don Alfonso, kindly bear in mind that I alone am responsible for the administration of justice. As you say, Excellency. But this reptile sought to poison Captain Avila de Linares. Not true. I love the captain like my own mother. Shut your mouth, Restrain murderer. Restrain yourself, Lieutenant. Remember, you're addressing a pardoned man. He's the one. He jealous. He poisoned our good captain. Preposterous. Your pardon, Excellency? I cannot hear you. I... I was saying this cursed gout makes me suffer the tortures of the damned and plague on it. Well, enough of my afflictions. Uh, time is against us, Don Alfonso. Captain Red, that filthy high... Ah, in that noted gentleman of fortune intends to board uh, the Neptune at dawn and take delivery of his... that is, steal the throne of Capitac and Rack. I'll make mince meat of In the meantime, I have resolved as follows. Uh, the throne will be taken into safekeeping by two secret envoys of mine. Uh, they will come bearing a letter which will absolve you from all further... Responsibility. That is all. You may withdraw. Very good, sir. And the password? Password? Oh, uh, let me see. Gout is gold. Gout is gold. So be it, Excellency. Tight. No, sir. My apologies. Can you count? Count what, Captain? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll do, that'll do. Perfect. You're to count to ten thousand. One, two, three. Not four. yet. As soon as we leave. When you reach ten thousand, you're to join us aboard the brig in our condor bay. Understand? Ah, Captain. Yeah. No one shall leave this room alive before ten thousand. Not even you. Not even me, Captain. Wish I had more trumps like you under me. Come on. Who goes there? Goat is gold. is an order. So be it. Load away! Load away! Triple the guard. All hands to remain at their posts. Aye, aye, sir.
I come to bid you farewell. And to thank you. Farewell? Fate wished us enemies. Yet you have twice saved my honor. You are leaving? Alas, this very evening I sail for Spain. But you... This evening... And... And... My uncle has... Don Alfonso has been promoted captain of the Neptune. Oh, I'm so unhappy, Monsieur Marfilatre. Come, on, Jean Baptiste. There is more. My uncle has betrothed me to Don Alfonso. Against my will. What you have in your little basket? My little angel, God bless your kindly old. I... I have not yet told you the worst tidings of all. Tomorrow, at dawn, you are both to be garroted. What about the frown? Captain, you are to be... tomorrow... Don't. I heard you, but where's the frown? We don't give a herring bone for your damn throne. He don't truly mean it. He just shook up. The, the throne is back on the Neptune. Ah. Captain, the Lord teaches us forgiveness. I shall pray for your soul. Farewell, Jean-Baptiste. No sweeter voice could compliment a sunset of such breathtaking splendor. Thank you, Captain. To be master after God of as fine a vessel as this would gladden the heart of any man alive. I'm sure of it. Yet for me it is not enough. I mean to wait until such time as you may deign to appreciate my qualities. And so, may come to love me. Good night, Dolores. Good night, sir.
where my finger is. That little speck? Mm -hmm. Yes, my lad. That little speck is a brig. I hope it is not a pirate, Captain. <laughs> Have no fear of pirates, Senora. They would receive a warm welcome. The Neptune carries 70 cannon. Oh. Besides, she is the fastest galleon in the Royal Fleet. The fastest? Yes, sir. Take that craft there. A brig, every stitch of canvas out, yet she hasn't gained a cable's length on us since dawn. Why should she follow us? She is not following us. She is merely sailing in the same direction.
Frog, what o'clock is it? Six or eight. Good. Give us a name in the bottle of Maloga. Now pull that face, damn ya. Drink, eat. We're alive, aren't we? And Frog? Yes, Captain? Would you do me a kindness and sing a little while I nod off? 
And mind you sing, don't bray like a donkey. Sing that little French ditty I've a liking for. Il était un petit navire. Il était un petit navire. Dessus la mer, ma long la. Dessus la mer, s'en est allé. Pour achever le tour du monde. Pour achever le tour du monde. Sans jamais la ma la. Sans jamais la.